New York City Mayor Eric Adams is currently facing an unprecedented political and legal crisis that has captivated both local and national audiences. This turmoil was ignited by his controversial remarks regarding immigration, during which he stated that the staggering influx of approximately 10,000 migrants arriving in the city each month could ultimately destroy New York. Such comments not only stirred significant public outcry, but also drew sharp criticism from various political opponents and advocacy groups. Many interpreted Adams's rhetoric as alarmist, racially charged, and reminiscent of the inflammatory language often used by Trump supporters, who frequently scapegoat immigrants for a myriad of social and economic challenges. The situation escalated dramatically when it was announced that Adams was facing a federal indictment on multiple serious charges. These charges allege that he solicited and accepted illegal campaign donations from foreign entities, specifically naming officials from Turkey. The indictment alleges that he improperly pressured the Fire Department of New York, FDNY, to expedite the approval of a Turkish consulate in the city without conducting the required safety inspections. This allegation raises significant ethical questions about Adams' leadership, decision-making processes, and overall commitment to transparent governance. According to the details outlined in the indictment, Adams faces a total of five counts, which include robbery, fraud, and conspiracy. Adams, who was elected to office in January 2022, has strongly denied any allegations of wrongdoing. He asserts that these charges are politically motivated, particularly in light of his outspoken critiques of President Biden's policies, especially regarding immigration and public safety. Adams claims that his decision to vocalize his concerns has made him a target for federal scrutiny, suggesting that the current administration may be using legal means to undermine his credibility and discredit his leadership. In building his defense, Adams and his legal team emphasized that the alleged illegal donations were made long before he took office and that he did not directly solicit or accept these contributions. His attorney has argued that the timeline of events and the nature of the allegations have been distorted in an effort to tarnish Adams' reputation. They contend that the donations in question were made during a period when Adams was not running for mayor, and that attempts to link him to these contributions are unfounded and misleading. The potential ramifications of this indictment extend well beyond Adams personally. They could significantly impact New York City, which is currently grappling with a projected budget deficit of approximately $12 billion. This staggering financial shortfall has prompted warnings from Adams that essential services throughout the city will be affected, with many communities likely to feel the strain of potential cuts. Critics have raised concerns that instead of focusing on addressing the pressing economic challenges facing New York, Adams is diverting attention toward the issue of immigration, a move they view as politically expedient and potentially damaging to social cohesion within the city. Public sentiment regarding Adams' situation is sharply divided. Supporters argue that he is being unfairly targeted, pointing to what they see as a lack of concrete evidence directly linking him to any misconduct. They perceive his indictment as part of a broader trend where political figures who challenge the status quo or express dissenting views face legal repercussions. Conversely, critics argue that Adams's inflammatory comments regarding immigration are indicative of poor leadership and a failure to engage constructively with the multifaceted issues plaguing the city, including poverty, housing shortages, and public safety concerns. In a recent public appearance, Adams articulated his determination to fight the charges vigorously asserting that he believes the federal government is intent on painting him as guilty based on what he describes as baseless accusations and orchestrated leaks. He vowed to confront what he perceives as a concerted effort to undermine his administration, stating that he will fight these injustices with every ounce of his strength and spirit. This indicates that he views his current predicament not merely as a legal battle, but as a personal and political struggle for his legacy and the future direction of New York City. The political ramifications of the indictment are substantial and far-reaching. Adams's predicament raises critical questions about the intersection of law and politics, particularly regarding how elected officials are treated when they engage in controversial discourse. Observers have drawn significant parallels between Adams's case and that of former President Trump, who has faced numerous legal challenges throughout his presidency and beyond. Both figures have employed a strategy of defiance against the legal system, framing their legal troubles as politically motivated assaults aimed at undermining their authority. Moreover, the discourse surrounding immigration has become increasingly polarized and contentious in recent years. Critics of Adams' remarks argue that they contribute to harmful stereotypes and xenophobia, potentially exacerbating tensions within communities that are already navigating the complexities of a diverse population. Advocates for immigrants have been vocal in their calls for a more compassionate approach, emphasizing the valuable contributions that migrants make to the city's economy and cultural landscape. They argue that Adams' framing of the immigration issue distracts from more pressing challenges, such as affordable housing, healthcare access, and public safety concerns, which demand immediate and sustained attention. As the legal proceedings against Adams unfold, they are likely to attract considerable media attention and scrutiny from political opponents, activists, and the general public. The outcome of this case could have lasting implications, not only for Adams' political future, but also for the governance of New York City as a whole.
Should the charges lead to a conviction, it could set a troubling precedent for how allegations of corruption and misconduct are handled at the municipal level, raising broader questions about accountability and ethics in public office. In addition to the legal and political ramifications, Adams' situation reflects broader trends in American politics that merit discussion. The increasing use of legal mechanisms to address political dissent raises essential questions about the integrity of democratic institutions and the lengths to which political figures will go to maintain their power. The ongoing investigations into both Adams and Trump suggest a growing environment where political rivalry is often accompanied by legal battles, which may serve to undermine public trust in governmental institutions and processes. In summary, Mayor Eric Adams' indictment related to his remarks on immigration and alleged illegal campaign contributions has ignited a passionate and multifaceted debate that touches on a range of contemporary issues, including race, politics, ethics and public service, and the future of New York City. As both supporters and critics closely monitor the unfolding situation, the ramifications of this case will likely extend beyond Adams personally, influencing the broader political discourse and governance strategies in one of the nation's largest and most influential cities. The complexities of this situation underscore the intertwined nature of politics law and social justice, creating a dynamic that will continue to evolve in the coming months. The indictment of New York City Mayor Eric Adams represents a significant moment in contemporary American politics, intertwining legal, social, and ethical considerations that reflect broader themes within the political landscape. The charges against Adams, conspiracy, fraud, and soliciting illegal campaign contributions, raise serious questions about his adherence to legal and ethical standards expected of elected officials. The allegations suggest a breach of campaign finance laws, particularly those that prohibit foreign donations. Such laws exist to ensure transparency and maintain the integrity of the electoral process, preventing conflicts of interest that could arise from foreign influence in domestic politics. The specifics of the case, including claims that Adams pressured the Fire Department of New York to facilitate the opening of a Turkish consulate without necessary inspections, present additional legal implications. This type of influence peddling not only contravenes ethical guidelines, but also poses risks to public safety by bypassing established protocols designed to protect the welfare of New Yorkers. These allegations highlight the importance of accountability and adherence to the rule of law for those in positions of power. As legal proceedings commence, the indictment will be closely monitored by various stakeholders, including political opponents, legal experts, and the media. The legal process serves as a critical reminder of the checks and balances that exist within the American political system. However, the implications of such legal actions extend beyond the immediate context, potentially setting precedents for future conduct among elected officials. If the case goes to trial, it will involve detailed examinations of evidence, witness testimonies, and legal arguments, all scrutinized in the public eye. The outcome will not only affect Adams' political future, but could also influence the legal landscape regarding campaign finance and ethical conduct in public office. Should Adams be convicted, it could pave the way for stricter enforcement of campaign finance laws and greater accountability for elected officials nationwide. The potential ramifications of this indictment extend well beyond Adams personally. They could significantly impact New York City, which is grappling with a projected budget deficit of approximately $12 billion. This staggering financial shortfall has prompted warnings from Adams that essential services throughout the city will be affected, with many communities likely to feel the strain of potential cuts. Critics have raised concerns that instead of focusing on addressing the pressing economic challenges facing New York, Adams is diverting attention toward the issue of immigration, a move they view as politically expedient and potentially damaging to social cohesion. Public sentiment regarding Adams' situation is sharply divided. Supporters argue that he is being unfairly targeted, pointing to what they see as a lack of concrete evidence directly linking him to any misconduct. They perceive his indictment as part of a broader trend where political figures who challenge the status quo or express dissenting views face legal repercussions. Conversely, critics argue that Adams' inflammatory comments regarding immigration are indicative of poor leadership and a failure to engage constructively with the multifaceted issues plaguing the city, including poverty, housing shortages, and public safety concerns. In a recent public appearance, Adams articulated his determination to fight the charges vigorously, asserting that he believes the federal government is intent on painting him as guilty based on what he describes as baseless accusations and orchestrated leaks. He vowed to confront what he perceives as a concerted effort to undermine his administration, stating that he will fight these injustices with every ounce of his strength and spirit. This determination indicates that he views his current predicament not merely as a legal battle, but as a personal and political struggle for his legacy and the future direction of New York City. The political ramifications of the indictment are substantial and far-reaching. Adams's predicament raises critical questions about the intersection of law and politics, particularly regarding how elected officials are treated when they engage in controversial discourse. Observers have drawn significant parallels between Adams's case and that of former President Trump, who has faced numerous legal challenges throughout his presidency and beyond. Both figures have employed a strategy of defiance against the legal system, framing their legal troubles as politically motivated assaults aimed at undermining their authority. Moreover, the discourse surrounding immigration has become increasingly polarized and contentious in recent years. 
Critics of Adams' remarks argue that they contribute to harmful stereotypes and xenophobia, potentially exacerbating tensions within communities that are already navigating the complexities of a diverse population. Advocates for immigrants have been vocal in their calls for a more compassionate approach, emphasizing the valuable contributions that migrants make to the city's economy and cultural landscape. They argue that Adams' framing of the immigration issue distracts from more pressing challenges, such as affordable housing, healthcare access, and public safety concerns, which demand immediate and sustained attention. As the legal proceedings against Adams unfold, they are likely to attract considerable media attention and scrutiny from political opponents, activists, and the general public. The outcome of this case could have lasting implications, not only for Adams' political future, but also for the governance of New York City as a whole. Should the charges lead to a conviction, it could set a troubling precedent for how allegations of corruption and misconduct are handled at the municipal level, raising broader questions about accountability and ethics in public office. In addition to the legal and political ramifications, Adams' situation reflects broader trends in American politics that merit discussion. The increasing use of legal mechanisms to address political dissent raises essential questions about the integrity of democratic institutions and the lengths to which political figures will go to maintain their power. The ongoing investigations into both Adams and Trump suggest a growing environment where political rivalry is often accompanied by legal battles, which may serve to undermine public trust in governmental institutions and processes. As sentiment towards Adams continues to evolve, it is essential to analyze the diverse reactions from various stakeholders. Polls and surveys conducted during this tumultuous period indicate a notable split in public opinion. Supporters tend to rally around Adams, viewing him as a victim of a politically motivated attack. They argue that the legal challenges he faces are rooted in his willingness to speak out on contentious issues like immigration, which they believe resonate with many New Yorkers who feel unheard. Conversely, critics of Adams are less forgiving. They argue that his rhetoric around immigration and his subsequent legal troubles indicate a lack of accountability and a failure to address pressing societal issues. Many express frustration that rather than focusing on substantive policy solutions, Adams has engaged in divisive rhetoric that serves to distract from the critical challenges facing the city. This sentiment is particularly pronounced among communities most affected by the issues he has been criticized for ignoring. In conclusion, the indictment of Mayor Eric Adams represents a complex intersection of legal, political, and social dynamics that will continue to unfold in the coming months. The legal ramifications of the case could significantly shape the future of campaign finance law and public accountability, while the political fallout may alter the landscape of governance in New York City. Public sentiment is deeply divided, reflecting broader national trends of polarization and distrust in political leadership. As both supporters and critics closely monitor the unfolding situation, the implications of this case will likely resonate far beyond the confines of Adams' administration, influencing the ongoing discourse around ethics in public office and the nature of political accountability in America.